Hello everyone, today we want to share our research. The name of our topic is a new sentiment score calculation method based on classification and ensemble learning. My name is Qinghua Zhao and my member partner is Jia Hao Li. Our presentation will be explained in the following order. Let's see the background. First of all, we need to know that sentiment analysis is very important in the financial field, which can help us to better financial decision making. But now, most of researchers are doing classification tasks. And uh, about the sentiment score, uh, most of them using sentiment dictionaries, not using the deep learning methods. So, can we try to do score calculations through classification model? After have this idea, let's us recall the scenario in which humans score the sentiment of the text. Assuming 1 to 10 points, 10 is very positive and 1 is very negative. It can be seen that we will firstly classify the text and then uh, subdivide the text under these classes. And uh, after comparing with this detailed text, we will have the finally scored. So we can see we will first classify and then have the detailed score. Um, and also we need to know that sentiment score is a detailed classification text. We can even convert the values into 100 kinds of classes. However, the more classes, the less likely it is to classify correctly. Therefore, we convert the value into four classes. It is more than two classes and not too many classes. So it's very suitable. The classes can be divided minus 1 to 1. When the value is 0 0.137, its classification uh, is 0 0.5. We can uh, combine the expected probability because we believe that the probability of error classification can reflect the sentimental tendency and thus express the consistency with the classification results. Uh, how to do this? Uh, score is the value of every class represented and plus the probability of this class. Why we use uh, ensemble learning method because after four classification results, uh, the result is not very good. Uh, so we can use in the it to improve the prediction predictive performance compared to a single model. Uh, our main uh, idea and the contribution of this paper is first uh, we uh, achieved the uh, uh, SOTA performance on the FIQA data side. And the second is uh, for ensemble learning part, we uh, proposed the two level ensemble learning method, which not only combines serially generated individual learners, but also combines those built in parallel, parallel on this best basis. And uh, at last, uh, for the classification text, uh, our method also adjusted and adopted in a uh, trace bank data set. The result is also very good. For the, our model, I will introduce it from the general to the specific and from the bottom to the top, according to the different generation methods of common learners. The current Ensemble learning methods can be divided into two types. The first is that there is a strong dependency between individual learners. 
which are always constructed in serials. And the represent is the boosting algorithm. The other one is that base learners are constructed in parallel and the most famous should be backing and random forest. However, the former only can lower the reference but not bias and the latter has the upside advantages. So we divide the entire ensemble learning process into two levels to combine the advantages of the two ideas just mentioned. First, we uh, divide, uh, uh, we, 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 we use the leave one out tenfold cross variation method to divide the data. For each data combination, we perform a training session and use those models built in each approach as sub base models. And the so called bottom level ensemble refers to the combination of the predicted performance of sub base learners. Then the expected predict values uh, of the group of these sub base models are obtained, and their predicted values will be taken as the output data of every base learner and the input data of the top level ensemble learning stage. Let's look at the structure picture. The blue blocks uh, represent the sub base learners, which are some uh, homogeneous classifiers and they are grouped based on the different training data into several base learners. That is, uh, that are the yellow blocks. Finally, the predicted sentiment score is calculated as the expectation of the expected initial outputs from the blue blocks. Um, for each sub-base learner, their performance constructs uh, the metric C and the classifier uh, classification probabil probability matrix is also produced with the same precision principle. Then, before calculating the hardware uh, hardware products of them, we adjust the matrix C and produce another F matrix following uh, this algorithm for our model because it needs to make the clustering. A criterion remain consistent. Finally, we calculate the expected value of each base learner through the formula. And if we are able to input tests with classification labels, the Q vector can be replaced with a currency of each epoch, uh, that is, the a currency vector A for adjustment and finally the sentiment score arrayed uh, sorry and finally the sentiment score array of a base model will be calculated as this array uh, which will be one of the inputs uh, data for the top level ensemble learn learning stage And for the base learner, we use earlier 2.0 base with 20 uh, layers and a hidden size as 738. The learning rate adaptive adjustment strategy we used is the mean square root propagation method and the global learning rate of each epoch is determined by the polynomial a decade strategy. And for the experiment and the evaluation part, we conduct our experiments into two parts, including the sentiment score calculation and the sentiment classification. For scoring, through the ablation experiment, we have achieved sort of performance on FIQA dataset. 
compared with Finbert, we reduced MSE by more than 14% 14 and uh, reduced uh, R square by more than 12% or uh, 20%. Additionally, we adjusted the above method for uh, classification problem and also achieve sort of performance on the 100% agreement race bank dataset, which increased by more than 1% on the basis of Bimber's 97% accuracy and an increase of more than 2% on the basis of 95% F1 score by Finbert. What's more, we also operate a funny test. We write this sentence by ourselves and put them into our model. And the model gave, uh, gave us the reasonable um, order outputs, just like this. The fourth part is summary and outlook. Uh, the contribution of our paper is that we have proposed a model based on classification and ensemble learning ideas to complete the calculation and achieve the SOTA performance on the FIQA data site. Comparing with the Finbirds, we uh, make the MSE reduced by uh, 40.29% uh, per, uh, and uh, increased uh, R squared by 12.73%. Finally, we adjusted the above method for the classification problem and also achieved SOTA performance on the uh, a uh, 100% agreement in the uh, freeze bank data size. And uh, we also increased by 1.03% uh, on the basis of Finbert's 97% uh, accuracy. And uh, the future work is that we need to uh, in the bottom level ensemble processing, uh, we need to consider the optimization of the combination strategy of the classification probability and the accuracy of each sub based learner. And in the initial uh, clustering process, impact of the number of classification on the performance of the model, we need also uh consider and the last day that uh, uh how to return the loss function of sentiment score and track the value to the model during the integrated learning process to achieving the fitting this feature's point is of great significance for financial forecasting the last uh, there are some detailed information in the